Love begets love, October 30. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Romans 8, 32. Those who are truly converted will dispense for the advancement of the work the means he has placed in their hands. We are Christ's witnesses, and we are not to allow worldly interests and plans to absorb our time and attention. There are higher interests at stake. We plead for the money that is spent on needless things. Waste not your money in purchasing unnecessary things. You may think these little sums do not amount to much, but many littles will make a great whole. Cut off every extravagant expenditure. Indulge in nothing that is simply for display. Your money means the salvation of souls. Let there be systematic giving on the part of all, some may be unable to give a large sum, but all can lay aside each week something for the master. Let the children act their part. Let parents teach their children to save their pennies to give to the Lord. The gospel ministry is to be supported by self-denial and sacrifice. Let not our church members complain because they are so often called upon to give. What is it that makes the frequent calls a necessity? Is it not the rapid increase of missionary enterprises? So long as there are souls to save, our interest in the work of soul saving is to know no abating. The church cannot abridge her task without denying her master. Love for lost souls brought Christ to Calvary's cross. Love for souls will lead us to self-denial and sacrifice for the saving of that which is lost. And as Christ's followers, give back to the Lord his own. They are accumulating treasure, which will be theirs when they hear the words, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Matthew 25, 21. The joy of seeing souls eternally saved will be the reward of all who follow in the steps of the Redeemer.